Hello everyone, it's your favorite gender queer unicorn, Mikey, and welcome back to my bed! As you can probably tell from the title of today's video, it's going to be my top 5 most used luxury bags, and we're talking about of all time, not just the past few years. And I am someone who has not sold or gotten rid of a bag ever since I was um, 16 years old. So that's a lot, a lot of years of collecting. And this is a more collective over the years, most used luxury bag list. And today we'll be talking about the five that I have used the most. And I'll be telling you a little bit about its durability, how it's lasted, what I've used it for, and all of that fun stuff. So I thought it would be a fun video to show you guys which are my most used bags, especially if you see some of my older bags, you'd be so surprised because they still look so good. And I think this is a true testament to the durability of luxury designer handbags. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get it going. Woo! But before we get started, if you're new here, hello! If you're here from Bag Chat, hello again! My name is Mikey and I love bags and fashion as you can tell from all the stuff and goodness over here. So, if you like fashion and bags too, I would love it if you, 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 you hit that subscribe button and join our fam, our family. Don't forget to hit the bell so you know when we post new videos. And also thumb me real good because it feels good on the inside. <laughs> I know what you're all here for. It's about my five most used luxury bags. Let's go, shall we? Now let's start with bag number five. And drum roll, please. Can you guess which one it is? <laughs> It's this guy right here. This is the Speedy... <laughs> this is the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier in the size 30. 30 meaning it is 30 centimeters across the base. And Bandolier because it comes with hooks on the side that you can attach a strap to. Mine is specifically in the Mon Monogram where you can get your own personalization on it. And honestly, it is one of my favorite bags just because it is the most me and because it has my initials on it. I got this bag in around 2015 or 2016. I, I got this bag around 2015 or 2016 and I got it mainly because I wanted a new travel bag. All my bags were all full leather and very heavy and I wanted something that was canvas and light and also that I could carry crossbody because, and also I have a top zip because it's a travel bag. So I want it to be a very safe, durable, and lightweight bag. And the Speedy seemed to fit all the boxes for me, except I, at the time, did not realize that Bichetta would patina and would show some watermarks. So I have brought this to Bali and it did rain on us. So there are a few watermarks on it, but at first I was kind of really annoyed, but now I'm kind of like, you know what, whatever, it's fine. It adds to the character of the bag. And if someone asks whatever happened to the spot over here, I can just say, oh, it happened in Bali when I got rained on. So it's a cool talking point too. But yes, I have used this bag quite a lot since I got it five or six years ago and I have definitely traveled with it a lot. I personally love this bag without an organizer because it gives that, that little bit of sag, softness, so it's comfy along your body, especially when you're carrying it crossbody. It's just the most comfortable thing for me, in my opinion. So, now at number five, it's Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 Bandolier. Now coming in at number four, can you guess which one it is? Da -da 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 -da. It is the Chanel Rectangular Mini. <laughs> it is my Chanel Mini Rectangular in the black caviar and silver hardware. <sighs> what can I say about this bag? This bag is so amazing. It is honestly 
one of my favorite bags in my collection because I can use it for literally anything and everything. It's so versatile. I can wear it with jeans or, or booty shorts to go to the zoo. I could wear it on a fancy date. I could bring this to an event. I have brought this to an event. It really is such an all-round versatile bag for me. And the size is small, but it fits so so much it fits both my phones it fits my key clay with my cards and my keys attached on the outside I have a power bank for my phone in there I can fit lip stuff like really I can fit so much in this and that's why it comes in at number four the only reason why it doesn't come in higher is because it's one of my newer bags so I think over time it, this will eventually become my most used bag ever in my collection. Bet on that. <laughs> and I just think it's just such a beautiful classic looking bag. And I'm glad I got it long before the Chanel price increases. <laughs> now on to bag number three. Can you guess which one it is? Da -da 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 -da. Drum roll. It is this Givenchy <laughs> Nightingale bag in this gigantic size. Oh my lord, y'all, look at how big this bag is. I've had for this bag for quite a while now. I think I got it in 2012, which would be eight years ago. I got this while in Paris on vacation with my family, and I think at the time it was only 1,200 euros, so we thought it was a pretty good deal. And this was also during the height of the Nightingale craze, and you just saw this bag on literally everyone and everywhere, and like, this was the it bag of its time, but now you don't really see it anymore. So like, I was still in college when I got this bag. So I remember putting my laptop, my design stuff in here. And you know what? This bag got really, really heavy because it's so big and can fit so much stuff in there. The bag is also full leather, which adds even more weight to it. So like, it became quite a heavy bag, but you know what? You're in college, fashion is pain, I didn't care. And also one of the main features of this bag was this super duper comfortable strap. You guys can see they added this extra leather padded like zip-on strap to their strap, which you can put on your shoulder, and it just made it super, super comfortable. You can also wear a crossbody. It was just such a great grab-and-go bag for school. So, yeah, I thought this is a great bag. But that was also the reason why I ended up buying my Louis Vuitton Speedy, because this was so heavy, I didn't want to travel around with it. And that's where this came in. There's only two bags left at this point, and it's these two. Which bag do you think it is? Pause and go down right in the comments below and take a guess. Okay, have you guessed? Have you? Are you sure? You promise? You're not cheating? All right. Drum roll. <laughs> it is this gigantic ass Balenciaga Weekender in this French blue lambskin with the giant silver hardware. Oh my God, you guys, this bag is so so big, it is a little ridiculous <laughs> if you look at that. This honestly, I don't know what I was thinking. Well, okay, so I know what I was thinking. Let's go back to the year of 2009. It was the time when Balenciaga was everywhere. It was on everyone's arm. Everyone couldn't t stop talking about the iconic motorcycle bag. A big, soft, Slouchy bag, and this was also the time when big bags were all the craze. So this bag kind of checked two boxes in one for me. Uh, the big bag trend and the Balenciaga trend. And honestly, I would say that this would be prime example of a trend bag looking dated later on in the years. Because the minute you look at this bag, you already know which era of fashion this came from. 
and there's just no denying it because it's just the size the big ornate embellishments and just everything about this bag screams 2009 but I'm here for it and also you know what this has become more of a keep all duffel bag for me now because I used to carry this to college with my laptop and my textbooks and everything and I've honestly used this so much and to death you can see you can see here there's a lot of wear on the handles obviously because this is where I carried it from and then there is stretches stretch marks there is loss of color I've got pen marks on it but you know what for an 11 year old bag that I have put on the floors of colleges put under the seat in front of me on planes I put it on the top I've literally done everything and anything to this bag, but it still looks really good. And I still do use this bag quite a lot, especially if I'm going for just like a weekend or if I just need a bigger bag where I can just throw stuff in, this would be it. Side note, I wanted to show you guys this bag is so big that I usually just have it hanging on a little S hook in my closet. But for the video, I wanted to stuff it to make it stand up and I literally put a whole ass pillow in there and it fits with a lot of space to spare. So just to give you guys an idea how gigantic this bag actually is. Ugh. Number one, my most used bag of all time and all eternity is the second luxury bag that I ever got and it is this Louis Vuitton Beauborg bag. I'm not sure I'll have Beauborg spelled right there but yeah I got this bag I think I got this bag in 2008 so that's 12 years ago now and honestly this bag was my go-to bag for everything. So we all saw this beautiful Balenciaga earlier. If I had a lot of stuff that I had to bring to class, I would probably be, I would probably bring this bag over here. But if I, if I didn't have to bring too much to class, I would bring this and then after class I would go for a lunch and go shopping or something. And it was just such an easy bag to bring around. And also the reason why I decided to go with my Speedy 30 when I found this this too heavy. I was traveling a lot with this bag and this was my like main travel bag for a very long time. Bag because it's canvas, it's durable and lightweight and all of that stuff. It really does not show that much wear for a 12 year old bag. There's a little bit of pilling over here with the cotton webbing. Um, there's like a minor scratch over here and here, or it looks white, so it might be paint. And there it looks like I spilled some sauce here or something like that. But overall, for a 12 year old bag, I think this bag looks out standing especially considering that this is the bag that I brought to school to college along with this bag and the bonus bag that we're going to talk about later this two these three were my main bags for the longest time and this one especially has gone through a lot I have not only used this for school I also used this to travel with I brought this on the plane, I put it under the seat, I put it everywhere, I put it on the ground, like dirty ground, school grounds, whatever ground, the grass, everything I've done to this poor bag. But it still looks so good for such an old bag. And that is partly also the reason why when I decided I want to get a travel bag that can be worn crossbody with a top zip, I went with the Speedy B30 because I knew that this canvas was basically indestructible and I saw my own track record with it. So I got this. Although I would now recommend getting the Speedy 30 Bandolier 
in the Mon Monogram instead because you get it in the black treated leather and you don't have to worry about it and it's truly a carefree bag. And I also think that Monogram with black leather just looks so cool. You do not have the option of monogramming your name, but you can have your name written out on one of the stickers, which is also still really cute, and you can still customize it to your own liking. So, I don't know, I just really love Louis Vuitton canvas for its durability, and this bag is what did that for me. This bag converted me, made me a Louis Vuitton lover for life. That is the end of today's video, you guys. What do you think? Did you find that helpful? Did you find that interesting? What kind of bags do you like? Do you like canvas bags? Do you like leather bags? I like all bags, as you can tell, but there are obviously advantages to some materials over others, depending on the situation and the reason you're bringing it out. So obviously when I'm traveling, I like to bring my canvas pieces, but I also recently have been bringing my Chanel Mini Caviar because the Caviar is such a strong, durable leather too. And the Mini size is so light and carries a lot. But I hope that helps you make a bag decision today, tomorrow, or maybe you're looking to buy a bag in the future. Hopefully that information was helpful. Hopefully something clicked in your brain about some bag that you're thinking of. Hopefully you found that fun. This was fun for me. I hope that was fun for you. If you liked the video, I would love it if you hit subscribe and join our Fem Power family. Thumb me real good and all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Bye! Red leather, yellow leather. 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 Okay. So <laughs> that. <laughs>